Welcome back as we work to connect with each other and with Jesus. I remember growing up hearing the phrase, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And, and I, I think that makes a lot of sense in our world, particularly our online world that constantly has comments that seem to have no accountability. And then if I think if we all lived this way, we, we probably have a lot less to say. But then I'm reminded of a quote that uh, is attributed to Abraham Lincoln that says, Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt. Usually those who don't speak much, people think have more wisdom than they maybe do. But this is similar to Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28. It says, Even fools are thought wise when they keep silent. With their mouth shut, they seem intelligent. Usually, we can be our own worst enemy. That we voice our opinion, and really it can be out of place or inappropriate to reveal who we are. And so Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 7 reminds us, there's a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak. There's a time to voice our opinion, and there's a time to talk. But we need to make sure that we recognize there's also a time to be quiet. There's the, the phrase or the reminder that the words silent and listen are spelled with the same letters. That in order to listen, you have to be quiet. And, and I wonder how many of our problems would be solved if we just took time to listen. Now when I say listen, we have to be careful. Because a lot of times in our society, we listen to respond. I listen to what you're saying only so I can f formulate a response to it. But what if instead of listening to respond, we listened to understand? Because when we understand, it increases empathy. It, it increases care. It creates a bond that otherwise wouldn't exist. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to be best friends with everybody just because we learned how to listen. But a lot of times, listening can help us overcome conflict, can help us resolve conflict in a positive way. Because when we understand each other more completely, that gives us greater insight on how we can move forward. See, being quiet is not just, not just keeping your mouth closed. That's part of it. It's about taking time to understand the other person, to understand their point of view, to understand their hurt, to understand why they say what they say. And when we do that, we can gain wisdom. And when we have wisdom, we can better honor Jesus. Stay connected to each other and to Jesus.